feeling run down and tired? Looking for an easy home treatment that you can do that will improve your energy levels and give your immune system a boost? Never fear, you've come to the right place. We're gonna cover all of this and more coming right up. Hello, I'm Liam and welcome to A Better Pace. This channel is dedicated to demystifying the language and experiences of Chinese medicine, as well as providing you with top lifestyle and self-care tips that the ancient masters would be proud of. Essentially, we're focused on education, preventative self-care, and showcasing Chinese medicine for the 21st century. If you'd like to keep up to date with the channel, consider subscribing and clicking the bell icon. Then you'll get reminders when new videos are being posted. Fantastic, glad to have you on board. By the way, if you missed my beginner's guide to moxibustion video, I'll put the link in a card above so you can check it out. Now let's get started with one of my favorite self-care techniques, moxicones on Zhu San Li or Stomach 36 as it's more commonly known in the West. This is for boosting energy and immunity. Zhu San Li is one of the powerhouse points commonly used in Chinese medicine. It has such a profound effect that historically, Chinese warriors would use acupressure on the point when weary from a long hike. And after a short break, it would energize them enough to walk three more miles, hence the name Leg Three Miles. As well as it boosting your energy levels and supporting your immune system, it's also used for many digestive disorders, so no wonder it's a go-to point for most practitioners. In a moment, I'm gonna run through the things that you'll need. But first, on a serious note, let's talk about safety. This technique involves setting light to a combustible herb called moxa, which is then placed on your lower leg. I should not have to tell you that playing with fire is dangerous and it can cause serious harm and damage if not done properly. So please be safe and follow the instructions carefully. Okay, health and safety chat over. Here's what you'll need. Number one, self-adhesive moxa cones. These come in different shapes, sizes, and strengths. You can also find regular or smokeless moxa. My preference for this technique is for a regular mild heat version. And if you are a particularly hot kind of person or you have a complicated medical condition, then you should definitely consult with a Chinese medicine practitioner before using this technique. Number two, you're gonna need a lighter and any lighter will suffice. I like to use this blue flame one because I find it works better with the smokeless moxa. Smokeless moxa is usually a charcoal stick and that burns at quite a high temperature. Number three, small bowl with water. This is for properly extinguishing the moxa cone once it's been removed. If you don't have a small, small bowl or ashtray handy, you can always use one of the pots that you get from a goo dessert. Plus you get to have a goo dessert. Number four, an eyeliner pencil or marker pen. Now for the first couple of tries, it's gonna help you to mark out the spot before you put the moxer on it. And if you're not using a medical marker pen, then I would try and mark around the area that you're going to put the moxer so that the cone doesn't sit on ink. Number five, you're gonna need some tweezers or tongs. This is to safely remove the cone as it's better not to use your fingers there is still a risk of burning even if the cone has looks like it's finished burning. Number six is a quiet place to sit. The smell of moxa has a very calming effect, so try and find the time and space where you won't be disturbed to get the full benefit of this treatment. Next up is location. There are a couple of ways you can find Zusan Li, but the easiest way if you're self-applying is to find the eyes of the knee. These are the two small depressions that are either side of the bottom of the kneecap. Once you've found these, put your index finger in the depression on the outer side of the knee and then place the remaining fingers parallel to the shin bone like so. Zhu San Li is approximately one finger's breadth from the shin bone underneath the spot where your little finger lands. Now it's time for the fun bit, so make sure you remember these five steps and everything will be fine. Step one, remove the cover of the adhesive strip at the bottom of the cone. 
Step two, light the end of the cone with the combustion device of your choice. Step three, place the cone on Zusan Lee and relax. Step four, remove the cone using the correct utensil. Step five is extinguish the cone in the bowl of water. Follow these steps and it should look something like this. Whoa, stop. How many times do I have to tell you to be careful? No hands, okay? Sometimes it's like dealing with a two-year-old, honestly. Right, let's try that again, shall we? And there you have it, five easy steps to a fantastic self-care treatment. I usually do one cone on each leg twice a week for good health maintenance. As mentioned before, if you have a pre-existing medical condition, please consult your practitioner before self-treating. Also, remember you can find out a bit more about Moxa by clicking on the link in the card. And if you have any more questions, then feel free to leave a comment in the box below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thanks for watching. See you next time.